Guys, welcome to 2023. So look, my name is Tommy and I am back again for another year at Z Grills where we will bring you some tutorials, some unboxing videos. Of course, we will have plenty of recipes and on today's show, we will introduce some skills. So I would like to see the uh, skills set of videos of uh, a certain skill that it takes to run your pit successfully, not just the recipe, but the ins and outs, how to get there, how to produce what a pit master would produce so look man that and here is what today's show is all about and look we all know it is high heat that is the trick to getting that crispy skin the problem is if you apply high heat too long sure you are going to get crispy skin but you are also going to get a dried out bird so on today's show i am going to show you how to get both crispy skin and a juicy bird. So look, what I am gonna do is I am gonna go back here and fire up my Z grills. In the meantime, I am gonna roll the clock back three hours and show you exactly how we got to this point. Yeah. On today's show, we will be doing some thighs and also some legs. The same principle would go if you were doing a uh, bone-in breast. You want to separate that skin from the flesh. And if anything catches, just use your knife to just kind of uh, help it peel away. On your thighs or even if you were doing a breast, anything hanging off like that now is the time to clean it up. On your legs, that usually isn't a problem. Again, just kind of give a uh, just give a grab there. That uh, that uh, skin is pretty tough. Usually, it doesn't rip, so just kind of just uh, pull it away from the flesh. There you go. Always remember Z Grills will have a link in the description that'll take you right to the blog where you can print out this recipe and also get a full ingredients. Basically, we have some baking powder, some kosher salt, and some granulated garlic. At that point, what you want to do is you want to get it on the skin. You want to move the skin back, get it on the flesh, and even get it on the back side of the skin. Obviously the same method will apply for the legs, get it on the flesh, and then you just kind of want to stretch the uh, skin back over the flesh and get it on the skin. Now once you have achieved that, you can, uh, can kind of just flatten out that skin, make everything look neat, because presentation is very important, and then you will get a wire rack and get it on the wire rack. You definitely want to use a wire rack here if you have one because you do want full circulation of air around the, uh, around the chicken parts. This will get on the wire rack. This will go in the fridge anywhere from three to six hours. Alrighty guys, and here you go, man, approximately three hours later, and we are looking pretty good. And the only rule of thumb here is because we've already did a uh, dry brine on the bird. You do not want to lay on the salt heavily. We do have some salt on here. I am going to go with a uh, Suckle Buster's chicken rub. Use your favorite rub. Just make sure it doesn't lean heavily on the salt and you will be fine. Look, I got my uh, Z Grills 700 series. I'm going to run that at about 230. We want to try to get as much smoke on the bird as we can. We will watch it, but we will run it probably 45 minutes or so. At that time, I'll bring you guys back. And you definitely want to get both sides of these, uh, of these thighs. All right, guys, look, that looks pretty good here. Now let's get on over to the pit. As you can see on that low setting of 230, the Z Grill really lays down the smoke and that is exactly what we are looking for. Oh, 
Alrighty, so look, just like that, we are 45 minutes in. Now what we wanna do here is we wanna move on over to the next step. We wanna go in, we wanna get a reading on that chicken. I'm guessing we're gonna be in that 125 to 130 range. We will then get the uh, chicken out, get it on the board, and then I will turn the pit up to 500 degrees. Once that pit hits that 500 degrees, I will get the chicken back on. So usually at that 45 minute mark, you will be about three quarters done. We will get the chicken off. We will fire up the pit. Now you don't want to leave the chicken on because you don't want it to go uh, that slow temp rise as it goes from 230 to 500. So get the chicken off, then fire up the pit. Alrighty, look, we are looking good. I'll see you guys in about 15, 20 minutes. I can tell you that took about under 10 minutes to get from 2.30 to about 4.50. We will get the chicken back in. And remember, you definitely want to temp probe your chicken here because you got to know exactly what the uh, internal temperature is. All right, I could tell you that did not take long, 15 minutes. That is it. She is reading perfect. Let's get in. Let's get the chicken off. Now that is a nice golden color. So look, we will let this rest here on the board for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I will bring you guys back. So look, that is one way that I like to achieve that crispy skin while keeping that bird moist. I mean, after all, we want a, uh, we want a juicy chicken, but we also want a crispy skin. So the, so the juiciness comes first, then the crispy skin. This is the way to get both. So look, man, this is my uh, favorite part of the show. I am just going to dive right in. You can see the, uh, you can see the juice on the board underneath the, uh, underneath the uh, chickens. I'm going to dive in on one of these legs. Cheers. All right, man, bar none, that is amazing, man. I hope the camera picked up the juice because this thing is juicy as juicy can be. All right, look, I always say, man, chicken is one of the most least appreciated foods of all the growing foods. I mean, it is always steak, brisket, pork, blah, 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 you know the deal. But if you want something juicy, if you want something good, I mean, I would definitely suggest doing up this recipe. I mean, wow, that was amazing. You know, when the uh, the skin, after all, that's why we're here. I don't know if you can hear this. Let me see. That's a crispy skin right there, guys. Look, I'm going to close out the show. This is skills video number one on how to get a crispy skin while also maintaining that juice inside the bird. And as you saw, we definitely achieved that. So look, all the information on this cook here will be down below in the description. Z Grills will also have it blogged out. Don't forget to check the uh, Facebook at Z Grills, also the YouTube channel right here, and the Instagram for all tips on your growing needs. And they will have you growing, they will have you smoking all winter long. Again, my name is Tommy with Z Grills. I look forward to cooking for you guys all year long. And until next time, we will see you soon.